die Gefahr der Leber, gehen die da Ketoacetin oder Uracin, die Gefahr der Leber, gehen die L Ketoacetin oder Uracin, die Gefahr der Leber, gehen die L Ketoacetin oder Uracin. Then my friends, in practicing, practice meditation, emphasize practicing. But the practicing should be not the basic of the Buddha Dharma, or not the basic, the main, the main idea of the practice method. The basic of practice method or the basic of um, the Buddha Dharma. Mm. You practice mean the practice will be your the right way. The basic of Buddha Dharma just like you speak our Shipatasman. Sweet or Shipatasman that also called the the basic, the fundamental of the Dharma. I will just got the the shifter, the shifter of the Zen being. We recognize all of everything, everything in Judaism, or in Zapatasma, uh, Worry of fearing, that's all, that's the super of same being. But the same being don't really know the basic, but don't really know the, the right, the right shape. They just follow or change to the, the illusion shape. That at the top of at the bottom. If the person got, got the um, fundamental of the basic of the Dharma, they will practice very good. And they don't raise the discrimination, they don't raise the self attachment, just raising the doubt. Listen to the Buddha teaching, Patra teaching, the Australian one with some experience point, point of view to help the practice you have to believe you have to believe strong belief in your own mind and maintain down they don't like when you got the basis of the dharma the practice you know, never never uh, raising the discrimination or never raising the the attachment the contradict uh play the force or the the, the again they still like got the um the interest most uh it carries the point or it carries the uh for practicing so the practice now, we just play uh, in full of belief in the own mind. And add the question very clearly. Add the question very clearly. From asking the question, raising down. Continue to ask the question, automatically maintaining down. Even the down just tiny, very small. But never give up, never um, stop, just ask questions all the time. And always listen to the uh, sharing experience from the, the my friend practitioner. 
where they improve our belief, the world mind, or improve our practice. Never give up. Just practice. Ask questions and raise them down. Maintain them down. Ask the question very clearly, continuously, deliciously. And ask questions like practicing. In the UK, we are supposed to go back to the time. Dear Dhamma friends and all practitioners, it's uh, another weekend uh, for us to ask questions and sharing experience in order to uh, believe in our own Buddha nature and practice the right Dharma. Uh, this meeting will help us to encourage, will encourage us to go more into the practice. The topic that we uh, we will discuss about this week is the foundations of Buddhism. When you know the foundations of the Buddhism, uh, it will help you to practice continuously and uh, know the right path to go on this method. When you uh, know the foundations of Buddhism, you'll be able to practice easily and uh, go on the right path. The main foundation of Buddhism is to believe in their own Buddha natures and start the practice in order to understand the circle of birth and death and uh, free yourself from all the suffering in this world. As a living, as a human being, sometimes we always running after all the happiness and try to avoid to uh, the sufferings. We need. Um, always forget the root or the foundation of Buddhism. Uh, when we talk about the root of Buddhism, we also have to believe in a cause and effect. Um, and uh, go back to the practice until you detach yourself from all the thinking and reach the Buddha nature. The foundations of uh, Buddhism is to be in charge of all your own life and uh, detach yourself from all the problem or all the thinking. When you listen to the Buddha Dharma or the Patriot Dharma, these are the words of encouragement to help us to go back to the practice 
even though all these words sometimes um, make you happy or make you sad uh, or if repeated but or with a purpose to encourage you to back, go back to your practice. As the likewise Zen Master said that for practitioners, sometimes they feel tired they feel frustrated in their practice because they still not knowing the foundations of the Buddha, Buddhism. Um, it's just like uh, a person who feels uh, who eating and feel like you uh, food and don't want to eat anymore. And that is the, the sickness of your body. And practicing is like eating regular meals you uh, have to eat in order to uh, have enough nutrition for your body but if you don't eat you your body will get sick and uh, you will die soon so when you're practicing which means you eating. That's all you have to do in this practice. We don't do anything else. We don't talk about other things. But doing the practice, believe in your own Buddha nature is not that easy. Sometimes you'll have to practice several years in order to start to believe in the Buddha nature, the foundation of Buddhism. Uh, you always running after uh, what you learn, what you understand, and uh, all the knowledge, but you don't, if you don't start a practice, all those knowledge, all those understanding are not useful at all when you face your own death. So, if you believe in your Buddha nature, then you continue to practice until you see your own Buddha nature. Until you reach the foundations or the roots of our thinking, the roots of our ignorance, then you be able to reach your goal, which is your Buddha nature. On the way to get to your goal, you always have to ask your questions and raising doubts. Just like asking the questions, all things go to one where it's one going. So, the Dhamma talk, the Buddha, uh, Dhamma, or the Patriot words, not only the encouragement for you to go back to your practice. And when you don't practice, which means you don't 
understand the roots or the foundation of Buddhism. That's why you must start the practice as soon as you understand how to practice. Don't waste your time to only the thinking, the understanding of the words. You must go back to the practice, asking the questions and raising doubts until you have a great doubt and you reach the root of ignorance and that will help you to reach the foundation of Buddhism. So that is the topic for this week. Knowing the foundation of Buddhism will be the way that you can pay back and pay respect to the Buddha, to the patriots, and all the wise men who have taught this method to us. If you have any questions or want to share your experience, go ahead and speak up. Like me. I miss him in. Nam mô bổn sư thích ca mâu ni phật. Con kính thưa quý thầy quý sư cô cùng thiền đường đại chúng. Uh, con cũng xin thầy khai thị lại cái chỗ mà uh, niềm tin tự tâm please, thì cũng có um, hướng ở trong kinh này. Thì con cũng xin thầy khai thị um, cho uh, give tự us tâm. a uh, tâm words of encouragement for the new uh, practitioner. In believing uh, in your own Buddha nature, is that uh, believing your whatever that you're doing, uh, believe in your right thinking, is the belief in your Buddha nature? Uh, could you give us some words of encouragement? When you still using words to explain, when you not starting the practice, which means you have not believed in your own Buddha nature, when you start your practice, that the beginning of the belief in your own Buddha nature. You don't just talk the talk, but you start to walk the walk until you reach the roots of all thinkings, all ignorance. Then that is the time that you can say when you have one percent of doubt, you can reach 1% of enlightenment. If you have 100% of doubt, then you're going to have a full enlightenment. So, when you have not reached the roots of all ignorance, which means you have not believe in your own Buddha nature fully. That's why you have to continue to practice until you reach that goal, which is the roots of all thinkings and all ignorance. When you're practicing any thinking, or any uh, intentions arising in your head can interfere with the belief of your own Buddha nature. When we said that you have consolidate, consolidate your belief in Buddha nature, which means you have to look back on your practice 
When you do in the practice and reach your foundations of Buddhism, which is the roots of all the thinking, you're very close to the enlightenment and you're on your way to consolidate your belief in your Buddha nature. The belief is the first requirement for you to start a practice. When you believe in your Buddha nature, you must go back to the practice. That's why all the wise men, all the patriarchs always encourage you to go back to your practice until you get enlightenment. And that is the full belief in your Buddha nature. All methods of practicing in Buddhism is to improve your belief in your foundations of Buddhism. When you talk about belief in Buddha nature without practicing, which means you're not ready to believe in your own Buddha nature. When you don't practice and on, only running after the knowledge, only running after the words, that is not a belief in your Buddha nature. All these knowledge, all these words are only the creations of your elusive mind. When you believe in your own Buddha nature, there's no dualistic aspect of mind. And when you have no dualistic aspect of mind, that is the belief in your Buddha nature. The more you talk, the more you stay away from the practice, which means you not believe in your practice, not believe in your own Buddha nature. When you're asking questions and uh, you understand the way of practice, just leave all the words behind, all the understanding behind, and just go back to the practice. And when you practice without knowing that you practice, that is the goal of belief in your Buddha nature. When you practice, you're always asking questions when you have problem, and that is the way that you improve your uh, belief in your Buddha nature too. Is that understandable? Yes, I'd like to ask a follow-up questions. Um, for us, we always have the habits, uh, the habits that you said that we all had uh, from several lives, and now it becomes the interference for our uh, practice and our belief in the practice. And because of these uh, habits, um, it's uh, always uh, interfere with our practice for new practitioners. So could you give us some words of encouragement in order to help us improve in our practice? When we're talking about a habit, we're talking about the attachment. 
to all these thinkings, to all these um, knowledge that uh, we running after all these thinking and knowledge and we forgot to do the practice. Uh, all these Dharma talks is the way to encourage the new practitioners to go back to the practice and uh, showing them the right path that they can go. If, if uh, during the practicing, when you uh, practice and you have some thinking going on in your head, and you keep running after those thinking, which means you not doing the right practice, do not go on the right path. And if you have all the thinkings in your head and you realize that these thinking can interfere with your practice and you just focus back on your practice, then you are going on the right path. When you lose your practice and running after all these thinking, all these ignorance, all these products of your mind, you are not doing the practice, you are not believing in your own Buddha nature. And when uh, new practitioners having this problem, they have to go back to the practice. Or the more you practice, the more you get familiar to the taste of practicing, and you will stay away from all these problems, all these habits. Uh, as likewise, Zen Master said that you have to practice in order to digest all those words from the patriarch of the sutra from the Buddha. If you don't practice, you will be dead in those words. You will be running after your own attachment. When you practice and you have some problem and running after words, you have to ask the questions. So the wise man or your teacher, your master, can direct you back to the right path, believe more in your practice, believe more in your Buddha nature. And when practitioners having problem and they don't ask questions, they practicing several years and they still have no progress in their practice at all. It can interfere with your practice and uh, can make you go on a wrong path. As a patriarch said, that if you went, go on the wrong path, you won't be able to reach the Buddha nature. All these Dharma talk is only have the only sole purpose to encourage you back to your practice, encourage you to believe in yourself more in your practice. And when you're doing your practice, going on the right path, always ask questions when you have problems. So, 
you can get the help to get back to your right practice. All the patriots, all the practitioners from the past, when they have not known the right way to practice, they always go on and fight the person who can help them to practice. And when they know how to practice, when they have any problem in their practice, they always go to their master to ask questions in order to go on the right path. So, at first, our practitioners with a very thick habit and very familiar with the habit, but the more they practice, the more they get familiar with the practice and stay away from all the habits. Is that understandable? Yes. Thank you for your words. If uh, nobody asks some questions, I will ask uh, another question for my uh, Dharma friend. When you uh, asking questions and uh, raising doubts, uh, when you asking questions and raising doubt, you won't pay attention to other things and uh, asking questions. Is it right? Um, <coughs> when you practicing, um, all the practicing that you're doing, or the doubt that you are the question that you ask. Uh, the question you ask and the doubt that you're raising is not going against with everything that you're doing. When you uh, asking questions and raising doubt, you're still doing everything in all situations and all times. When you're doing the practice, you detach yourself from all the thinking and it can help you to do a better job and you can do a better work. When you're doing the practice, it's going against all those habits. It's going against all your thinking. This is why people feel like frustrated when uh, they running after all of those habits and uh, still not familiar with the practice at all. Just like uh, the, when Pháp Đạt went to uh, the sixth patriarch Huệ Nang to ask uh, questions when he's uh, knew how to pay respect and he didn't put his head all the way down to the ground because he's still having some of the thinking in his head that he have achieved something and he uh, not fully paying respect to the patriarch. I went 
a patriot uh, try to help him to detach himself from um, what he had, what he has to, um, but that realize that he still have the attachment and he realized that he did not did not pay full respect to the patriarch so he uh, started to uh, apologize to the Patriot and asking the questions to help him to believe in himself more. And the Patriot have helped him to go back to the practice and doing the practice correctly. When you doing the right practice and uh, detach yourself from all the thinking, you doing the practice, you act in the questions, you still going on by path. You don't. Pay attention by doing the right practice. You don't put in your intentions. You don't put in any thing that you want to reach, anything that you want to ask for. But doing the practice without putting all those thinking in your head. When you started the practice and vowed to do the practice, you have to do the practice continuously Asking questions and raising doubt. The practice is just like breathing air or eating. These will help your body to nourish your body, nourish your body and keep the body going. And if you're not doing the practice correctly, you have wasted times and uh, not paying respect to your teacher who have taught you the practice. Always stick to your vow of practice and go on and practice. Apply your practice, apply whatever that you're thinking and understanding and other knowledge by doing the practice. Always in charge of what you're doing and uh, doing the practice. Don't run after all those habits or all the thinking. And don't run after all these words. It's hard at the beginning when you start a practice, but when you, the more you practice, the more you get familiar with the practice. And when you're having problem, 
and, uh, and you don't ask questions, then uh, sometimes you go on the wrong path and sometimes you stop the pra practice and that is not right. So uh, we're running out of time. I will see you in another session.